In the previous two devotionals, I've been sharing some foundational truths and breaking down some false assumptions that will help us understand how God isn't far away. And as believers, we're spiritually close to God, closer than we actually think. In the first devotional, I shared that God wants to be found. And then I went into sharing how uh, God actually wants to be close to us, that he gave us Jesus to fix that broken relationship and, and reconcile us back to him so we can live in a close relationship with him. I shared that when we believe in Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we're adopted into the family of God. And that we really don't have to strive to be close to God um, when you're already family. We can consider ourselves loved and part of God's big family. So those are realities. And before we start getting into how we foster a closer relationship with God, I have another foundational truth, another spiritual truth I want to make sure you understand. And even breaking down a false assumption, once again, that God isn't close. Well, as a believer, the reality is, the truth is, you are close to God because the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, dwells within you. And let me show you where Scripture talks about that. Ephesians 1, 13, it says, And now you Gentiles, and he's talking to those who are not Jews but are now believers, and so all people like you and I, um, you have also heard the truth, the good news that God saves you. And when you believed in Christ, he identified you as his own. But how did he do it? By giving you the Holy Spirit, whom he promised long ago. Before Jesus would go to the cross, and before he would resurrect and ascend to the Father, he also promised his closest followers that they would never be abandoned, that he would be with them to the very end of the age. How is that possible, though, if he's going to go to the Father in heaven and yet still be with them? Well, he promises the Holy Spirit. This is what John 14, 15 through 17 says. If you love me, obey my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit who leads you into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him. But you know him because he lives with, with you now and later will be in you. In John 14, 26, moments later, he says, when the Father sends the advocate as my representative, that is the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and will remind you of everything I have told you. And he goes on to say two chapters later to his disciples, when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own, but will tell you what he has heard. He will tell you about the future. He will bring me glory by telling you whatever he receives from me. So the Holy Spirit comes and dwells in us when we give our life to Christ. When we believe in Jesus, he gives us the Holy Spirit to identify us as his child but also to be with us, to guide us. And the Holy Spirit isn't just a guide or a teacher and doesn't just speak on behalf of Jesus. What we're hearing here is that the indwelling of the Holy Spirit is like having Jesus with us. Now, just in case you don't know who the Holy Spirit is, there's not really an easy way to explain it except for the way Jesus explains it in these verses. Jesus calls the Holy Spirit an advocate which is someone who represents a cause, or in this case, represents and stands in for Jesus. So the Holy Spirit is literally standing in Jesus' place for this time in this, um, in this time in this world that we're living in. And so it would, it's just like having the presence of Jesus in our lives. The Holy Spirit is exactly that. So the question is then is how can we be a, alone or distant when God literally dwells in us? And if we feel disconnected and distant, if God lives in us through his spirit, why is that? Why do I feel disconnected? Why do I feel uh, distant from God and I don't feel close? Well, there's a few reasons I want to end with. Not all of us are aware that the Holy Spirit dwells in us. But now that we do, by faith, we believe in Jesus. Uh, we believe that uh, he has forgiven us of our sins and restored our relationship with God, well now, by faith, we believe God lives in us through the Holy Spirit. So the same faith you have to have that 
that Jesus really did die for you. He, he took away your sins. He forgave you. That same faith, you also have to believe and trust God that he's with you and that his Holy Spirit is dwelling inside of you to be with you. Secondly, some of us simply just forget. We forget the spiritual blessing and the truth of the scripture. We just kind of forget that we even have this blessing. It's like you forget something in your house that you've had for years and it was so useful useful to you before and maybe you know you just kind of forgot it was there. So that's the second reason, but the third reason is is really simply that we're all learning how to live more aware of the Holy Spirit in our lives. I've been a Christian my entire life and I'm a pastor and I still have to remind myself that the Holy Spirit goes with me, that God's presence is in me, and that I need to be aware every day that he's here for me and he's guiding me, teaching me, and encouraging me to live the way Jesus would want me to live. So here's what we can do to increase our awareness of God's presence. It's really simple. It's pray. And I would even start with first, believe and pray. Believe God is in you through his Holy Spirit, and then pray. I'm sure you were expecting something more profound, something, you know, a little more difficult. But the reality is, all day, you can talk to God. And it's a reminder that he's always there. So praying to God throughout the day is being more aware of his presence in your life. And I'm going to pray a special prayer. I'm going to pray that God will increase your awareness and that he will help you see and experience this, the Spirit of God in you all day. Let me pray. God, we thank you for this truth. We thank you for this reality that when we put our faith in you, we're not alone. You are as close as dwelling inside of us, that you are with us through your Holy Spirit. God, I pray that you would increase our awareness of you. You would increase our faith and belief that you are there, that you are there to guide us, to comfort us, to lead us. But God, we open our hearts to remember this, to live it out, and to rely on your Holy Spirit, your presence all day. We simply will talk to you and pray to you to remember you are there, and we trust you, and we look forward to growing closer to you as we remember you are with us through your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.